Hi there, Scorpio, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is going to be your tarot forecast for the week of July the 16th through to the 22nd. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for the Scorps. First up, we have Major Arcana, the Hanged Man, in the reverse position, followed then by Major Arcana, the World, upright. And next, we have the Knight of Wands in the upright, followed by the Knight of Cups in the upright. And lastly, we have Major Arcana, the star in the upright. Wow. You've got three Major Arcana and two people in this reading. <laughs> okay. Let's see what's going on for Scorpio. First up, we have Major Arcana, the hangman, in the reverse position for your overall energy. The hangman upright, this can represent um, needing to hang back and wait. It's a uh, suspended energy. It's where we have to wait uh, and for a situation to unfold and that waiting can be for a great number of reasons and we need to maybe take another look at a situation from a different perspective however that wait time is over and uh, the perspective looking at the situation from a different perspective could now uh, be in its completion so it could be that for a lot of you Scorpios the wait is over now whatever it is you were waiting on Jupiter is now moving forward in Scorpio very helpful energy that could be what in part what's going on here uh, coming right off the hop, you have Major Arcana of the World in the upright position. This represents the completion of a cycle that um, that has been long-standing. So this could represent anything from wrapping up um, um, your uh, in a graduation situation, for example. We're wrapping up our our uh, school years and ready to move on into a career or work life. Uh, for others of you could represent even retirement. Maybe some of you are taking a retirement and closing out a long-standing career or even changing careers after a long period of time or changing relationships or but this would be something that has been already in the works for a long period of time. Uh, but it's coming to its uh, natural conclusion. It's in the world is um, is the final card in the uh, in the tarot. So this is where uh, everything just sort of culminates and comes to its conclusion. For some of you, maybe that's what you were waiting on was a conclusion. Uh, some of you could be moving homes that you've been at for a long time, that kind of thing. And it's paired up with the Knight of Wands in the upright position, good old pajama man. Uh, the Knight of Wands in the upright, this is um, a court card, so it could be representing a person. For some of you, this could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. Uh, the Knights are um, people who come in and... Um, uh, you know, bring us offers. Uh, the Knight of Wands, he is, um, could be arriving to offer you uh, some passion, <laughs> something passionate. They also represent uh, travel and activity. So this could be anything from um, someone coming in, uh, offering you uh, an adventure or an opportunity to travel. Maybe you're traveling to see this person and this person's traveling to see you. Um, it could be um, any number of things. It's going to be different for all of you because it's just a general read after all. But it does look like an offer is coming towards you, Scorpio, maybe at the early, in the early part of the week. Um, and this could be uh, an offer of business as well, too, because they also govern uh, business and enterprise. So interesting. Um, interesting. And he's very fast. He's one of the fastest moving knights in the deck, this Quicksilver, he comes in very quickly. He doesn't usually wait around too long. Um, you know, he has an offer for you and you know, you kind of have to make up your mind very quickly because uh, it's very fast moving energy. Now, moving on towards the weekend of the 20th, you have the Knight of Cups in the upright position, another knight. This is another offer coming towards you, Scorpio. This is also a um, court card, so this could be a water sign. This is your energy, uh, Scorpio, and that of Cancer and Pisces as well. I believe Cancer also had this card in the same position too. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Cancer and um, this person is coming towards you with an offer, a romantic offer. He is the most romantic knight in the deck. It's not necessarily a water sign. It could be representing even you yourself, Scorpio. Maybe you're thinking about making an offer to someone else. Maybe it's this, um, Knight of Wands here. <laughs> Maybe you're thinking about bringing an offer to them and they're going to be bringing an offer to you at the same time. And it, it'll be an offer off. <laughs> uh, 
but uh, this is really lovely energy. It's not necessarily romantic because cups do just govern our emotions. And uh, this can also represent creativity and anything that just sort of jump starts our emotions. Something that makes us feel really good on the emotional front. It could be an offer of something that we love to do uh, in the arts. It could be an offer of a hobby, a, a job even that brings us emotional fulfillment. Beautiful energy. You've got uh, these two knights here and sometimes two knights in a spread can represent a, a conflict. Maybe, you know, they're squaring off here because they're facing each other in this read so there could be a, a conflict perhaps you have two suitors coming towards you and uh, and uh, you know maybe there's a little bit of a you know jealous uh, standoff here <laughs> now the last card you have that concludes your read is the uh, major account of the star in the upright position again lovely energy the star is very healing energy it's um also very hopeful energy wish upon a star and all that kind of thing it's uh, inspiration too it can represent inspiration that comes from above and this makes sense too that perhaps if this is a creative offer maybe you're feeling very inspired by uh, by this offer and um, for like I said any of you involved in the arts music and drama and that kind of thing maybe this is something very exciting um, this offers something that's really going to excite you and really going to inspire you. So it's a beautiful way to end the week. What a nice reading here. A little bit intense, uh, Scorpio, but a very nice reading. I hope this reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye for now.